Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic Bakugan Evolutions unboxing. So out of everything I got, this is the last thing. Um, yeah. Just had crazy luck going up and visiting uh, my gram and it's wild because it's lasted about a, about a week. What? Yeah, about a week. Holy crap. Like just um, unboxing stuff and everything. But I hope you guys have been enjoying the unboxings. If you haven't seen everything I've been opening lately, go and check it out. You already know plenty of Bakugan content to go watch. Like from, you already know both Beyblade and Bakugan. Plenty here to watch. But yeah, so we've got a Battle Strike pack here to end it off. But it is the epic Darkest, uh, well, Aquas Neo Pegatrix Ventus Sky Horse uh, Battle Strike pack. But it also features Darkest uh, Neo Drago, Pyrus Feral. Which, you know, definitely uh, uh, reprints for those. Or at least for, like, the Feral, it's a reprint. We've got uh, Pyrus Feral. And then we got um, we got Nano Fury and Na uh, Nano Echo up in here. So Echo being in Darkest, Fury being in Arliss. And, yeah, man, having that clear in the black with it looking really, really sick. Doing the artwork for all of them. So Feral right there. Then you've got Neo Drago with uh, just the glowing eyes, man. Looks so, so sick. But uh, then we got Neo Pegatrix, and then Sky Horse, Sky Horsey right there. But uh, yeah, dude. So gotta check out the back. Uh, Aquas Platinum Neo Pegatrix, Ventus, uh, Sky Horse, Darkest Neo Drago, Arliss Nano Fury, uh, Darkest Nano Echo, and Pyrus Feral with this. So yeah. Without further ado, let's get into it, man. All right. So I gotta once again get all the tape and everything off if i can these are the only things that are really tricky with like the tape so get you and then i have like stubs for freaking nails i won't lie i, I bite my nails sometimes but yeah you know i got stubs and i'm stubs but yeah that's my boy but uh da -da 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 -da. let's see if i can get that and are we good uh, are we gucci maybe well okay got you up in here and uh you know what to get that last one we're just gonna reptar it if i can reptar full send yep reptar yep we're reptar it screw it bop there you go <laughs> reptar and oh crap i yeeted that i yeeted that pretty far all right so Get you out of there. Get the cards and cores and all that. Good shukaku out of there. Definitely dig the artwork on the box, though. Looks cool with all the fashion symbols. And then get them cards. Getting those first. And then now we got to get into all of the Nanogon and such. All right. Uh, Fury and Echo up out of there. Sky Horse. I see you. Bop. Are you free? You should, you should be, unless you're stuck. You're stuck to one, aren't you? You are stuck to one. All right, well, there we go. Got it out of there. Um, then pack of tricks, you. And freedom! All right, and then Neo Drago. Get you out of there. There's one up by, there's one up by your neck, I think. Yep, where is it? There it is. All right, most difficult spot right there. Okay, and then Feral, get you up out of there. And yes, sir. All right, so Bob. Now we got to get into the cores and everything. Well, as soon as I get a yeah, the sheet out of there. We're not worried about those. Get all those plastic strips. Once again, there's so many freaking plastic strips, man. All right, so. Gotta get the gate cards and the cores. Get all that good stuff over to here. Okay. So, um, got the gate cards up in here. Let's see. <laughs> Dude, the Mork just swinging freaking for rascal around. But, uh, uh, Aquas and Arliss getting 600. Everybody else getting 100. So, Aquas and Arliss definitely getting the biggest boost from this. Shield bonus. So, you already know. Gets a bonus, uh, if you're about gone, gets a bonus on the shield, it'll get if it lands on the gate card. Then we got Stratas up in here. Uh, Pyrus and Ventus getting the biggest boosts, and then all the other factions getting 100. And then, you know, Fist bonus. Helps out Fist Bakugan. And then we got Drago taking that major darkest hit right there. 
uh, 600 for Chaos and Darkest, and 100 for all the other factions. So big time boost for those two. And then Flame Fist bonus. But, uh, yeah, man. So, now we gotta get into all of the cores, going to the pro side of things. But, 250 and 3 for that Flame Fist, really nice. Two of them. Ooh, a plus 150, plus 4 as well. All really solid cores, definitely. I say they're some of the best Flame Fists, unless you're going for full damage, and that's the plus 6. But still. Um... Plus 600 minus 3 for that Helix. Very nice. Plus 600 for that Magic Shield. 650 being the best one, but it's still good. Um, and then Pyrus Vent is getting plus 400. So very solid cores with this pack, man. Really, really nice. All right. So uh, first of all, I'm going to probably get into Feral because, you know, I have reviewed this before. This is actually like a reprint and such. But it looks really sick having the yellow for the eyes, the nose, uh, the beard, and for the hat and everything. Pyrus Faction Elemental Symbol right there. Um, and also on the wings. Orange on the back, um, the Pirates Faction symbol right there. Overall looking really sick, and B-Power of 500. So, yeah, going through it kind of quickly just because, like, I have reviewed it uh, before. It's actually a reprint. Loving the maroon on it and such, but it looks so, so sick. Uh, yeah, just that little bit, like, of orange and the maroon red really makes it pop. And loving the cherry red they used for it. But there is Pirates Feral in the closed ball form. Looking like an absolute beast, man. All right, next up, I guess I'll get into the Nanogon. So uh, I'll get into, uh, why not? I'll get into Fury first. So we got Fury up in here. All the black they use for it, like the kind of metallic black, looking so cool. Really, really shiny, all the silver flakes in it. Then got the clear uh, for the head of Fury, and then also for the tail. So overall looking really, really dope. And then let's see, head in, tail in, and then uh, the, the wings, if I can get them. Close the right way. There we go. Rotate a little bit. And there it is, man. So, uh, Arliss Nano Fury in the closed ball form. Looking really sick. Like I said, I like these more than the Baku Nano because they actually close up into the spheres, even being manual, which is really, really cool. And plus, you don't need them for a profile, but I like including them. They're really cool and really cute. But um, then we've got Darkest Nano Echo up in here, man. Uh, looking so sick. Loving that, like, sky blue for the eyes, man. Looks so cool. And then... um. You know, the darkest faction symbol right there. Uh, yeah, all the transparent, rosy, purple plastic. Looking so cool. So rotate that around. Uh, rotate that around. Put it together. Bring it around town and throw it down. Not like a clown. Hear my sounds. Be like, holy cow. I'm going to get this right now. I think. I th almost. Almost. We're close. We're close. All right. All right, got it. Just had to move the wings around a little bit, but I had the basic idea. But there is Darkest Nano Echo in the closed form looking really sick. All of that transparent, uh, rosy plastic looking so cool. All right, then uh, I guess we'll get into Drago. Why not? We're getting a Neo Drago. So we got Darkest uh, Neo Drago up in here, man, looking really, really sick. So one of the packs actually had like the platinum version, but this is the regular version. Uh, B-Power 900, so boy, strong right out of the gate. Hello, Might even, I think it's stronger than like the platinum version. Um, But yeah, having like kind of the turquoise paint right there on the on the shoulder blades, uh, purple on the back of the head, silver right there for the arms, the wings having that same rosy uh, purple, same with the jaw. And then, like, some silver for the eyes. Looking really, really sick and dark is, is Neo Drago. I like the strength mode. It looks really cool. Definitely want to see uh, more molds for the speed mode, you know. Like, yeah, to see in, like, other factions with it. Because it's so, so sick, man. And I think I did that out of order. But it's no big thing. Just had to click the tail in there. You don't put the tail in first before the wings. You know, I just did a little bit out of order. But obviously, always careful. Uh, but, yeah, man. So, the silver big time on the tail and also the elemental darkest symbol right there for the tail as well but darkest neo drago in the closed ball form man looking so so awesome looks so sick all right the next up we're gonna get into the sky horsey so sky horse you know seahorse instead of seahorse sky horse because it flies you know that was clever but uh anyways it's got a manual part being the the snout if i can get it maybe if i can get it I'm trying to all right there we go so, yeah, Sky Horse got the red around it big time for, like, kind of uh, the mane that it has on the inside. Looking really, really cool. Uh, lime green right there for the tail. Another manual part. That transparent plastic for the tail looking really sick. Using the forest green um, a lot for this one. And then the transparent neon green 
for the wings and then also the red swirls right there them zona swirls i'm gonna say it every time i'm telling you <laughs> i'm that excited for tears of the kingdom but yeah plus green and like the red spot come on come on man um but then the yellow right there for that mohawk you know but uh yeah so the way you close it up really simple head shoulders knees and toes yeah per usual but you already know man got the stop sign shape with it that octagon all that good stuff but uh yeah so we got Ventus Sky Horse up in here looking really sick in the closed form um also Ventus faction symbol right there overall looking like a beast dude definitely digging the look of Sky Horse and Ventus plus just seeing how uh evolutions has been a melting pot and how legends can literally carry the torch like it's passing the torch on the evolutions for that melting pot new stuff but also like paying reference to previous seasons and everything and putting out some stuff we didn't see before like i said scrap bakugan perfect time perfect time to put them out man like even seeing older molds like goreen and webham return would be amazing man i would love that um but yeah so we've got uh the girl up in here aquas platinum neo Pegatrix, all the freaking metal they put in this man all that silver you know silver with the metal and then putting some sky blue paint right there uh, for the shoulder blades got the hooves being all nice and orange yellow in the eyes the horn having orange as well uh yeah this looking so so sick man and then you've got like the light blue in the back uh you know looking really really sick just loving the aquas colors with it like that aqua blue that transparent blue looks so, so nice. But, uh, yeah, got to see the stats on her. And also, just look at, like, the plastic on the inside looking really awesome. One heart. What the fuck? No, come on, man. She's got to be strong. She's got to look so cool. Like, what? why are they, like, nerfing the platinums a little bit? Like, some of them. Some of them. It's like, they it may, like they're kind of difficult to use a bit. So, you got to definitely have more strategy when using them. But, uh, yeah, some of them have some pretty good stats. You already know. But just, like... It's all my favorite designs, like certain factions. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they've been struggling with B Power. Maybe it has a bonus with it. It's a pack of tricks, so maybe it has some core manipulation bonus with it. So can't judge a book by its cover yet, or hopefully at least has some good damage with it. But yeah, anyways, uh, Aquas Platinum Neo Pegatrix in the closed ball form, man. Looking so, so cool. All of that uh, metallic silver metal right there. Got the Aquas Blue on the outside. Looking so great and loving that sky blue. But yeah, so now we got to get into the cards. So, uh, we got Darkest Neo Drago, 902. Uh, so, getting up to 13, yeah, 1,302 um, with what you get. Or if you use a Magic Shield, 1,550 and 2. So, it can get up there, man. It can be strong for sure. Um, and just keeping that balance by, like, you know, low damage, higher B power. Uh, you know, they depend on one another. Because when you're playing the TCG, you can't get that far if you don't have much damage, right? So, it forces you to use more damage cards. If you want to actually make some big time hits while having all that power, and that's the beauty of it, man. Love the balance, the way they're keeping it balanced and such. At this stage, compared to the first era, so much better balance. That's me just being real, man. And I can't wait to see what they're going to do for evolutions to uh, stir the melting pot that much more. But then we got Sky Horse up here. Uh, Sky Horsey. Yeah, 704. Lands on a fist, it gets plus 800. So you're talking about getting up to like 1650 and 7? Or 16, yeah, 1650 and 6. Or 1607. But, uh, yeah, overall that artwork looking so cool. Definitely just with the Geogon, if they put any more out in the future. And plus with the Diamonds too, they should just put up a full play set. So it's not so difficult to sit there and get the cards so we can actually use the Bakugan as such. I get kind of leaning away from the TCG, which I wish they wouldn't. Uh, the, like literally you talk about like so much about look at Pokemon, look at Yu-Gi-Oh, look at Magic, look at so many card games right now and how much you're making, especially in the case of Pokemon, man. Oh my God. Like, holy crap. Some cards are going for ridiculous prices, dude. And like, yeah, I don't know why they wouldn't want to like cash in on that, but we, we love the cards. Spin Master, hashtag we want cards. Um, we, we love the TCG. I'm just saying that, you know. I definitely want to use this, but just having one card for it, I don't know if I'm going to anytime soon. Me just being real. I want to have at least, like, two copies of, like, a Geogon card in the deck if I want to use it. But, yeah. Um, or a full playset. So you might as well put a full playset in with the Diamond Evos and also the Geogon. It would help out in a major way because I really want to use them. But, uh, Feral up in here. Uh, Flame Fist Helix, 507. So I'm getting up to 1,104. You know, breaking 1,000. And, uh... 
still having some pretty good damage or magic shield with it uh 11 50 and 7 so big time damage also breaking a thousand with that beat power so that's cool then we got fury up in here arliss nano fury so land on a flame fist plus 300 uh well no if you have a flame fist plus 300 it goes off of all your bakugan if you don't know and then like if your bakugan have a flame fist and a shield plus 500 so yeah the fury looking so cool right there you see drago's artwork in the background the silhouette looking dope and then we got darkest uh Nano Echo up in here. So you have one shield plus 200, two shields plus 600 for Echo. So yeah, man. And then you see Wrath in the background. It's funny because like Echo versus Fury, you know, Drago and uh, Wrath facing off, of course. But yeah. So we've got Aquas Platinum Neo Pegatrix. Okay. Okay. I can, uh, I can appreciate this. So it's got a shield and a magic shield. So it has the magic shield. 107 so normally it would be like oh it's getting up to 750 and 7 kimbo but if you land on a regular shield well if you land on a magic shield uh you can add a core to it so if that's another magic shield you get with it it's up to 1400 1407 she's getting up to so breaking a thousand uh having some serious serious damage uh with that seven that being really nice uh yeah and getting up to like 1400 as well yeah definitely diverse that's why i was just like can't judge a book by the cover gotta see if it has additional stats and the additional stats helped it out in a major way but keeps that balance because if you remove the core from it and such it loses that bonus and everything just love the core manipulation how it switches up the game but uh yeah you land on a shield you can steal an opponent's core and add it to pegatrix so in that case it'll be up to 1150 if you get like a yeah, so you can get, like, up to a plus 400, that's 500, and then if you steal a magic shield from your opponent, and it's 650, 1150, you can get up to 1150, and, uh, 7. So still breaking 1,000, having some serious damage, yeah. Yeah, definitely, also could be diverse, because you steal, like, a, uh, like a flame fist, and they, it has, like, major damage with it, and you build it with a damage deck, like, yeah, you can go about that as well, very diverse. And that artwork for Pegatrix looking so, so cool, man. Definitely digging uh, the elemental pattern with the blue flames and everything. With the aquas, that's just so sick, man. Like, it looks like actual, like, tidal waves for the wings. It's so cool. But, uh, yeah, now we gotta get into the opening action for all of uh, Geogon and Bakugan. So, here we go. Ba -ba -ba. Alright, so, uh, Sky Horsey. Get him. Bop. There we go. And then we're going to get into Feral. Bop. Went, wow. Landed right next to it. Wow. That, dude, that was... You're talking about a perfect roll. That was sick. All right. Neo Drago. Oh. Tried. I tried. And oh, man. Yeah, you're going to be the stubborn one, Drago. I'll see you. I'll see you. You landed right there. Okay. <laughs> and then watch Pega. Oh, my gosh. Should I just, like, full power roll Pega Tricks? Yo, it just, okay, Drago took that hit like a champ. And, hey, got it. So, uh, Platinum Neo Pegatrix in Aquas. So, first off, wow. Straight out of the gate, got two cores. Oh, shoot. Okay. So, question if you had a strong magnet. You got a strong magnet. Yep, that shows that right there. Uh, Neo Drago. Also has a pretty strong magnet. Look at that, picking up two. Um, Feral. Let's see. Also having a pretty good magnet, man. Picking up two. All right. And then for Sky Horse. Also, yep. They all have pretty decent magnets in there where they can double core, man. They overlap and such. They got some pretty good magnets and they can all double core. So that will definitely help out all of them. And overall, they got some pretty good stats. All of them do. So, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, they're all breaking a 1,000. Like, Pegatrix breaking a 1,000. Yeah, they can all... Break a thousand for sure. That was a pretty good damage with them too. Uh, yeah. So overall, I'd say it's a pretty nice uh, pack. And plus getting uh, Fury and Echo up in here. It's a pretty nice, uh, you know, Nanogon to have in a profile for sure. You set them up the right way. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this review on this absolutely epic Bakugan Evolutions Battle Strike Pack featuring uh, Arliss, uh, not Arliss, Aquas, Platinum, uh, Neo Pegatrix, and also... Uh, Ventus Skyhorse, but also Darkest, Neo Drago, Pyrus Feral, Aralus, um, Nano Fury, and Darkest Nano Echo. Overall, these sets pretty big, man. You can already tell with the unboxings and everything. But yeah, I do have profiles planned. 
it's just a little bit of a hiatus for them because I have a special plan for 111. Uh, and that's the next one I'm making. But there's 110. Guys, I kid you not. 110 Bakugan deck profiles to go back and look at for now. You know, there's a lot. Like, who else do you know has made 110 profiles? Uh, yeah, there's plenty to go back and look at and watch. Also with the unboxings and everything in the meantime. And I put out a lot recently, you know. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So, yeah, guys, till next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Till then, stay awesome and Bakugan Brawl. I'm about to here.